we had a question about brush strokes. And we actually go in depth in this in the creative circle. And it was why, why does everything kind of feel blended together? And if that's what it feels like, that everything feels blended together, it's because you're working wet into wet. It's because you're doing this with your brush. It's because you're futzing and overworking it. If you want defined brush strokes, what you need to do is you need to get paint on your brush. So I have a decent amount of paint on my brush and every brush is different. So asking me exactly how much is going to be like saying how much, how, how long is a piece of string? Well, it depends. Um, you want enough on your brush you, I have a damp brush. It's not dripping wet, but I put it in the water and then got rid of the excess moisture. And then I put enough paint to have a little bit loaded up on it. If you look at this from the side, you can see a little bit, little bit of ridges. So I have a little bit of extra paint. And then when I come down, I place the mark with confidence. I don't mush it. I don't rub it in. I place it with confidence. And if you want, and that's, that's what I've been doing with this palm tree. I don't come in and blend the marks. I come in and put the brush stroke where I want it. And then I leave it. And I don't come in and start scumbling. This is scumbling which is where you smush the paint in. If you do that, it's gonna get muddy, it's going to get mushy. If you want confident strokes, you need to get a decent amount of paint on your brush. If your brush can make one big long stroke, you have enough paint on it. You see here how there's white showing through, I didn't have enough paint on my brush. So you'll develop this feeling and you'll know what's right for you and how you apply it. And you know, every, every day is different because of the moisture and the humidity in the air. Like when I paint in the winter, it's a very different feeling than when I paint in the summer. So I wanna go in, see, didn't even have enough paint that time. And the paper also absorbs paint a lot more than a gessoed canvas, so that's a little bit better. And then you, you just have to get used to your brushes. You have, to, you have to take them through their paces. You know, figure out how skinny you can make a line. You can go with the very tip of the brush and I can go from very skinny to very thick. And I get in there and I experiment, I smush and I get skinny and I smush and I get skinny. I come and I see what I can do with my brush. So this is a skill that you can build by experimenting, by having fun, trying different things.